My name is uh, Olof van Winden, I'm director of today's art festival. Uh, this is the City Hall of The Hague, which is designed by the architect Richard Meyer. The building is 11 years old and uh, yes, it is one of our main venues where we can combine visual arts, where we can have performing arts as well in some kind of a balance. It's, I mean, it's an office, it's a, it's, a, it's a city hall where people get their passports and everything or get their unemployment benefits, but we are able to change it in, a, in an exhibition space in a concert hall uh, because the architecture is really amazing and allows this. There's a great acoustics, it's white, it's modular, it's amazing. I think it's the most beautiful theater of the Netherlands even, but it's a city hall. <laughs> Can you tell us about the works that will be shown here? Yes, we will uh, present first the, the largest piece in here uh, is called Waste Landscape. Uh, it's a project from France. Uh, and Waste Landscape is a project with 65,000 CDs and CDs became an obsolete medium. Uh, the production of CDs is stopping this year and we're going over to uh, just the stocks, the old stocks. Uh, our new Max, they don't have a slot to put your CDs in there. So it's, it's basically a dead medium, an obsolete medium. Uh, and now it is being reused into a landscape with these 65,000 CDs, which are basically uh, uh, placed here as an intervention in the building. Uh, next to it, that we have the world premiere of uh, Canto Ostinato, which is a loop uh, by Simeon de Holt, who uh, um, uh, made this uh, piece in the same time as John Cage. Uh, he's from the same school. Uh, and this loop now, normally it's a piece for four grand pianos. And now instead of four grand pianos, there's one harp, one laptop playing electronics, uh, one video, and the fourth element is the architecture. Uh, so it's a new version of the Canto Ostinato, and which will be the world premiere here. Uh, then we have a concert by Moan. Uh, that's the, the label owner, one of the founders of Compact uh, Records in Germany, uh, a famous techno record label. Uh, but they will play an ambient uh, uh, set, uh, audiovisual set. And then lastly, at the entrance of the atrium, uh, a project from Ljubljana, from uh, Mota. Um, and which is called Dark Star. And uh, Dark Star is this big black white structure right now in this white atrium, uh, producing some interesting sounds and interesting images with little sparkling stars in the back. Uh, it's still testing right now, and we're all curious what will happen because this is also a premiere. Uh, and basically, most of the uh, spaces we use. We intervene in there. Uh, we have an exhibition in an old electricity factory, for example. Uh, we are putting visual arts in a theater and performing arts in a museum. So that's also quite messing up with, with the functions of buildings. Uh, we use other public buildings like churches. Um, and, and beyond art for me is also saying that, you know, in the arts it's very uh, fragmented. Uh, visual arts with visual arts, music with music, and even within the music sphere there's electronic music with electronic music and an acoustic music with acoustic music. Uh, um, I think today's art goes through all these layers of visual arts, performing arts, uh, and even beyond, like architecture, design, gaming, fashion, uh, um, uh, urbanism, uh, more the social context of art also. Uh, so that was the first reason why for me it went beyond art.